Good morning, it's May 19th. My name is Galit and this is the Galactic News. So let's see what's going on today. Moon is still in Capricorn and I want you to pay attention to this chart. This chart is the transit right now in Los Angeles. That's where I live. But look at this. This is a ball, right? This is the, the shape of a ball and the pushing planet is the moon. So the moon is saying, I'm going to give you all my attention to all the rest of the planet. Let's do something from what we feel. The moon in Capricorn likes to feel useful, likes to feel reputable, likes to feel um, you, uh, doing something that is practical and is pushing results. Moon in Capricorn wants results. So where do you want results in your life? Where and what kind of results would you like to have? So we know that the moon wants results. It is heading towards meeting Pluto, powerful results in a structure. This moon wants to have more structure. Where do you want more structure in your life? The other thing that's going on, we still have the Mars-Neptune conjunction in Pisces. And this is about inspiration and taking the right action. What is the right action? The right action is taking action from somewhere that is aligned with your higher purpose. It's not every action. You know, so many things come our way every day and we are bombarded with information that is trying to hook us up to take action on it. No, not everything has the same weight in our life. Be discerning what is the right action for you to take in order to move you along the lines of your goals. We set goals. The goals are out there and we have to take perpetual actions in order to reach our goals. So choose your action. You have so much energy to take it, to put out there in one day, right? So where are you going to put your energy? This is what this is all about. Be inspired and be discerning to take the right action. Don't be delusional. This can confuse you. This may, this is a very unclear energy saying, oh, let's be out there. Everything seems so beautiful and romantic. No, it's not true. Be discerning where you spend your energy. The other thing that's going on, Venus is at 19 degrees uh, Aries together. Well, separating already from Chiron and Chiron is in Aries is all about us as a collective healing our wounded child, healing our self. This is the wound of self. So Venus passing there and still in Aries is saying, what is important? What is really important for you? You see how nice it combines with the moon in Capricorn saying what is important to spend your energy on. It's all coming together. Then we have uh, the sun in Taurus, 28 degrees in Taurus, in direct trine to Pluto, 28 degrees of Capricorn. And this is an earth trine. Again, it's about practical results. So we are all building a new system for ourselves, a new sustainable system, a new financial system, something that uh, will have us, uh, will be endurance. We need endurance in our life. And we need something that will make us feel secure, some sort of security. And this is about tangible assets, tangible results, tangible things that we can see. It's not just about concepts. It's about showing up and doing the, the work in order to see those results. And that's what the moon in Capricorn wants us to do today. Do the work. Show up. What is important for you to show up and what's not, right? Don't spend the energy on what's not. So in a nutshell, this is what's going on. Mercury is still retrograde, heading towards Taurus again. Um, bringing us the information that we need. It will bring us some illumination in a few days when it meets the sun. We'll get Things will get clearer for us. Maybe we'll get that piece of information that we need. I want to add one more thing. Not all transits are made the same. If you have a transit of uh, a slow-moving planet to some of your personal planets, this is going to take a long time, maybe months, sometimes years, right? The, the slow moving planets like Pluto or Neptune take a long time. However, if you have a quick transit like the moon, like personal planet, like Venus or Mercury, sometimes even Mars, those are days. So if you see any of the personal planets, let's say you see Venus at 19 um, Aries today somewhere, maybe you have something at 19 cardinal signs. So Venus is sensitizing that point for you. It's a day or two transit, but it still gives you a boost. Pay attention to the transit. The transits are the clock. They're always correct. They bring the energy. The question is what you're going to do about it. 
So that's it for today. Enjoy the day and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.